The NCAA has a big problem. Whether the association will want to admit it or not, the Division II Women's Basketball Tournament will feature 64 teams starting this weekend and continuing until one remains in Dallas, Texas. But it won't be the field of the best 64 teams. During a conversation with the voice of the Griffins, Tommy Rezach, on Monday, Missouri Western women's basketball coach Candy Whitaker had this to say about the tournament. We should have six teams in this year, and if we are going to preach um, student-athlete experience, I mean, what in the world are you doing if you're not allowing kids to have the experience of a postseason when they deserve it um, and they earn it? And we finish third, third, fourth, fourth fifth, sixth of our league this year is going to go win a lot of leagues across the country. Mm -hmm. um, and so you're not getting the best teams into your national tournament. You're not. Um, so until um, the NCAA wants to care more about the Division II experience and the Division II athlete, you're going to continue to, um, to sell these kids short on what, what their experience should be. Missouri Western didn't make the NCAA tournament. The Griffins finishing the season 24 and 7, third in the MIAA. But entering the conference tournament, the Griffins on the bubble because of how Division II continues to use regionalization for seeding in the tournament. They lost in the first round of the MIAA tournament to Fort Hay State, also a 20 win team that also didn't make the NCAA tournament either. Six teams in the conference finishing with 20 wins or more. And this might sound like sour grapes, but look at the NSIC too. They have three teams in the central region. When according to the Massey ratings, the analytical approach to rankings, the conference has five teams in the top 25 based on strength of schedule and other data. So when you look at the field of 64, it's broken down into eight regions, seedings one through eight. And you'd think that the one seeds are the best teams in the country. Nope. Best in their area? Mm, probably. According to the ratings, just three of the one seeds in the top ten. In fact, going by the Massey ratings, there's one team in the field ranked 180 in all of Division II. And that team was not an automatic qualifier who won their conference tournament. We've heard it before as to why this is how the bracket is done. This is the easiest way to bracket. We can't compare regions. This is what we budgeted. And my favorite, this is how we have always done it. I know there's a budget and cost involved to the decision, but there's a better way to, to seed the biggest basketball tournament of the year for these student athletes. Have your conference tournament automatic qualifiers, but what about the other spots? Make sure the best are in the tournament. It's not just women's basketball either. Four day state men finished 23 and six last season, third in the MIAA, beat a team that made the tournament, but nope, no tournament for them either. Since 2014, eight times, either a men's or women's team from the region has either won or finished runner-up in the NCAA Division II tournament. It's a stacked region on both sides, but right now, it doesn't matter because your conference rematches in the opening round of the tournaments will happen. It might cost a little bit more to have the tournament, but it will cost us a lot more in the long run if we continue to keep this status quo.